It is time to round up one of the biggest headlines of the week. The Mexican government says it regrets Texas Governor Greg Abbott's decision to sign into law an $800 million border security package. The governor signed the measure here in Houston. It will put a rush on the hiring of 250 additional state troopers who will patrol the 1200 mile border with Mexico. Mexico has long opposed any militarization of the border. But now there are reports that illegal border crossings are down about 50%. So is this all still necessary? The $800 million border security package is our topic this half hour, and we want to hear from you. You can weigh in on our Fox 26 Facebook page. Also, be sure to send us a tweet and use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our roundup panel. It's led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico, our public policy analyst, Jackie Bally, and in for Mustafa today is former chair of the Harris County Democratic Party, Jerry Bernberg. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what do you think about his border package? Well, the, the question really becomes, do we need to spend a new $800 million when the money we're already spending is working? Just last week, the, uh, the uh, uh, Homeland Security Chief Jay Johnson was in Houston and said that we haven't seen the return of border crossings, the spike that we had seen the year before, and that if the pace continues at the flow it is right now, this year, Illegal border crossings will be at the lowest they have been since 1972. And so if you've got a 40 year low, why, Jackie Bally, do we need a new 800 million when what we've got is apparently working? Because Jay Johnson in that same speech said that we still have 20,000 coming across illegally per month. And so whenever a poll, the Texas Tribune did a poll last year of voters, regardless if you were a Democrat or Republican, the number one issue that voters in Texas were concerned about was illegal immigration, illegal immigrants coming here across the border and more border security. It was quite clear to the voters that they wanted our borders to be more secure. Jay in his speech last week said that we still have 20,000 coming here illegally and the numbers, the, the voters in Texas us want to see that number diminish. What about that? We're going to spend a new 800 million when we got it lowest it's been in over 40 years, but we still have over 20,000 a month. Well, first of all, that's 20,000 over the entire border, not just in Texas. But here's, here's what's been occurring to me. We've got 800, this 800 million dollars is going to get us uh, 250 additional border security people. We've got 800 folks who for the last eight days have been searching for two escaped prisoners from New York. Now, if 800 people can't find two, what dent do you think 250 additional border guards is going to make on whatever is the minor, uh, is the significantly reduced flow of illegal immigration across the border into Texas? And everybody, we're, we're missing the ball. The problem with illegal immigration is not border crossings from Mexico. It is people who enter the country legally and then overstay their visas. That's half of the number of illegal immigrants in the United States right there. All right, let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's take a look at Twitter. We're going to start with one of Governor Greg Abbott's own tweets when he was here in Houston this past week uh, signing this bill. He tweeted out, I just signed the toughest, most comprehensive border security law of any state in the nation. Tracy says, you need to just say it and build a wall. Set up a page, ask for donations. People from all over the U.S. Uh, would donate. So Tracy wants a, wants a wall. And then finally, uh, this person says, schools need the money. The governor would rather fund military of the RGV, the, the Rio Grande Valley there, and she points out that border crossings are down. Well, and you know, let's just dispel the wall. That's never going to happen. It, 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 nobody's, we're not going to spend the money on it. It's not going to occur. And so really we need to focus on how much money do we need to spend on the border. Jerry brings up, I think, a, a really good point that most of the illegal not, or not border crossings, the people who are illegally came here legally and wouldn't leave. And, and the governor realizes that. That's why this package is so comprehensive. Uh, in the package, it's not just having the troops on the ground. It's also increased technology, establish intelligence operations, hire additional people to actually process the illegals as they're here and to monitor them. So it's, it's a very comprehensive package. And the governor has said, since this is supposed to be the responsibility of the federal government, he is thinking about pursuing additional dollars to reimburse Texas for the dollars that we are putting in into this comprehensive package into securing the border, something that he feels the, dash, the federal government should be helping us do anyway. So we have less than a minute. What's the better way then if we're not going to increase our security on the border? Well, first of all, 
think how many school books we can buy with $800 million. <coughs> think of how many uninsured Texans we could get insured with that $800 million. And the answer to your question about what's the better way is to keep on doing what we're doing. It's working. The, 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 and quit demagoguing the issue. Quit scaring people. Quit making them think that there's a problem that isn't existing right now. And then focus on the right problem. Uh, employers who are employing folks who shouldn't be, and call, uh, they're the magnet that are bringing people here. Uh, but that's those, a federal issue, not a state issue. And free and free resources to concentrate on on capturing and deporting the bad folks instead of the dreamers and the dreamers' parents and the people who are here who are not dangerous but to us at all. how do you coordinate those federal issues that the, de getting employers who are hiring illegals is a federal law, not a, not a state law. How do you coordinate that? Because it's a federal problem. Let the feds take care of it. That's what the Constitution says is supposed to be the way it's dealt with. Well, I think, all, te one, I think all Texans agree that the feds <laughs> don't do their job, and that's why the governor has stepped in and has uh, uh, given us a very good package, and we're okay. going to move forward I'm on the sure issue. I'm not sure all Texans agree, but... Well, most of us do. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to leave it right there. We'll be back in about 30 minutes.